Hey there, hey there, hey there, hey there, hey there, hey there folks, Elton here, your eccentric automotive artist here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And I had this idea recently to see if I can drum up some business since I got a, getting closer to 22,000 subscribers. I figured, um, why not show you guys my biggest and best drawings I still have. And um, these drawings... Um, I did uh, between 2009 and 2011, I think. And then I stopped, and then I went to doing paintings. Actually, kind of think of it, there's a, there's a couple here I should also show. This one I think I did in 2011. Right? And I had it professionally framed. That's a real restaurant, Elio's Pizzeria there on Belcha Street near Saint Laurent. That's a 64 Lincoln Continental. And uh, we'd be happy to get 300 for this. Uh, framing alone I think costs about a uh, hundred and a quarter. And uh, a lot of meticulous work on all those bricks there. That types of, not bricks, but sorry, uh, you know, the windows and all the stones used. A very old school type of and then even the, the what's unique about this one is the sky is actually with paint. So most of these drawings I did, I used pen and with markers. And actually, to, before I continue on that one, oh, Gloria, you're, don't be next to Daddy there. I almost freaking stepped on you. Then I have this drawing over here, which I think I'm going to have to take down because, yeah, it's, it's in the dark here. And I've shown this one before, too. I, I filmed all these drawings, but it was all separate, so I figured why not? Why not uh, show you guys the whole thing in one video? Well, one long video. There we go. Now I've done many drawings and I've even done a painting of a GM New Look bus, which is the most popular transit bus ever made. But this is really one of the nicest drawings I ever did of one, actually the nicest drawing, and this is an RTL bus, which is a South Shore of Montreal bus, the Réseau Transport de Longueuil, and uh, which was formerly known as the STIRSM, Société Transport Vive Sud de Montréal, and I have it here in uh, in uh, downtown Montreal here. This is actually, I did this exactly from a picture of a slide I bought on eBay years ago. And this one is, uh, well, not the same price as this one, actually. Uh, I would take a little less for it than what I mentioned for this one, but I think this one I'd have to have a little bit more. If not, I would be firm at 300, frankly, because, I mean, look at all the work involved in this. I love details, you know. There's only a couple of things of this drawing I wasn't happy with what I did. In terms of the work here is the, uh, or precision, is the doors are too wide. I made them as wide as on a Classic, which was the model that replaced this in uh, 82. 83, sorry, and then the front end here, I don't know, I did a little bit squished. But then again, whatever, I used to be a pothead, so, you know. Okay, so we're going to take that off and put it, uh, as you can see, it's a big piece there. So these, uh, this one and the other one, like I said, uh, I've said before, I don't ship anything that's glass, it's just too risky. So I'm going to put this, uh, well, give me a moment, I'll put it back on the wall. Okay, actually. next. The only thing I don't like about the lighting I have here, I'm trying to show you this guy was with the less amount of glare as possible, but there is a little bit coming in there. I'm not crazy about that, but it's not horrible anyway. So this is, uh, so when the Dodge Challenger was introduced in 2008, I was really smitten by it. I thought, wow, what a cool car. What a, what an awesome, uh, you know, a tribute to the original Challenger that came out in 70, you know, the style of the, the four headlights, the grill, and the whole shape of it all. And it was based, of course, on the Chrysler 300. Uh, chassis and body and I thought well why not you know draw one towing another car another but you know like an original and um, I don't know I was kind of surprised I never sold this drawing I mean muscle cars are some of those most popular classic cars there are let alone Mopars and this car actually I had originally done it green they had a dark green uh, uh, and I figured maybe it wasn't selling because of that, or maybe I couldn't sell it because, uh, although whatever I'm doing in the country setting, my pine trees look more like pot plants, and I did that unintentionally, but whatever. Um, 
and um, there's a little bit of a tear I had to fix right there so you know what like make me an offer when I mean make me an offer like you know ideally I'd like to get a hundred bucks for this but I don't think I'll get that so and just to show you oh there we go see there's the green this is not bleed proof paper you know it's bleed proof because it wouldn't the ink won't bleed through the uh, the paper behind it but it goes right through in the back it's kind of still looks kind of cool that way yeah it's got a couple of creases it's not perfect you know but again be nice to clear some stuff so you want a good deal talk to me if ever you want to you want to you want to talk serious about buying a few of these drawings and you want a good deal and all that it's probably i think it's better to talk on the phone you can reach me at 514-598-1773 and by the way um like the guy who came here this morning to buy some uh, 80s uh, gmc uh, pickup truck ads you know those s15 ads or those s15 trucks the smaller ones I don't mess around, I make a good deal. The more things you buy from me, the more of a deal you're going to get. Uh, so I'm not made of stone. Now this one also has got a lot of work in it as well. Uh, again, same size, is about uh, 15 by 23 inches, I think. Just to show you with my hand here. Uh, same type paper. This one, though, has got a little flaw in it, though. Uh, where is it? There was a tear. Yeah, right here. There's a little tear right there. And uh, this was... Um, you know, as a proud Montrealer and even of our road networks, even though a lot of our roads are in shit shape, I, I thought the Carry Expressway was always kind of unique in its way, and they did that in other cities, you know, to build an expressway below uh, the surface, like the metro, so to speak, and uh, so you got your old international uh, uh, Transtar, 1970s, got a 61 Chevy Impala, and uh, I think I drew all these from memory. Well, maybe not. You got your uh, Falcon here, 60s Falcon, 62 Chrysler, 58 Buick, uh, 63 to 66 GMC. Little Corvair there. I don't even know what the fuck this is here. Oh yeah, 65, 66 Mercury. Uh, 67 Bel Air. Did I say 70s? Sorry, make that a 60s. And just like the one there, the big truck in uh, Maximum Overdrive, the movie. And that's the 63 Plymouth Fury I just threw in there, the, the, the world's highest mileage taxi before it got hit by a truck in 2000. Had accumulated 1,621,000 miles. And that's one of our famous uh, brittle buses made by CCF, the Canadian Car and Foundry Company. And uh, those buses were in service up until 82. So again, you know, if you're interested in this, make me an offer. Oh, wow, what the hell happened here? Huh, that's strange. Chocolate dot on there or paint? It looks like paint. Well, let's go with paint. Okay, so now I have to put these over here. Now we'll show you some drawings I did that are a little bit newer. Okay, speaking of Montreal history transportation, now you see what happened was I went and bought a Sometime after, I bought some heavier gauge paper, like a Bristol board paper from an art art store. Uh, and uh, what was great about it, I think one of the reasons why I did it is because this paper doesn't tear easily. And also because, if I remember right, the ink didn't uh, run off my hand, you know, it didn't smudge. So, uh, yeah. And this is, uh, yeah, one of our old... Uh, MTC uh, streetcars, Montreal Transportation Commission there, and this is a picture... Oh, oh, that's my phone, whatever, I'll call them back. Anyway, so yeah, uh, and uh, one of our old uh, Montreal Transportation Commission uh, streetcars that were in service up until August 1959. And this was actually a picture that I um, that I used, uh, that I made actually from a photo, a reprint photo that I bought that was taken here in Montreal in 1955 in the NDG sector, Notre Dame de Grasse, right here on the corner of Sherbrooke Street and Girouard. And uh, what I did is I made a couple of little changes there to make it look like 1959. So there's a 59 Buick over here. There was an exact truck like that in the photo. And the, the streetcar is exactly like it was in the photo. I don't have it here, but I mean, you know, I, I think I sold the photo and I scanned it, though, on my computer. Then I put a 57 Meteor uh, taxi. Meteor was a Canadian Ford, and a lot of the taxis in Montreal in those years were black. There's a 58 Plymouth Savoy. 
and you can see there's tons and tons of of work in this originally I wanted to I wanted like 250 bucks for this frankly I mean look at all, how long it t took me just to do all the shrubbery and the friggin trees for crying out loud it took a long long time the grass and not only that even okay not here but look at this tree here I even like I even did all the cobblestones it's crazy look at that all the cobblestones a lot of streets were still cobblestones you know so um yeah actually frankly I'd like to have 200 bucks for this seriously like I don't think I want to sell it for less than that frankly and I think if ever I become rich and I never ever ever never able to sell it I'm either going to keep it or donate it to Expo Rail Museum yeah <sighs> Give me one okay. second, guys. I had to check to see who called. Uh, so you are looking at another drawing I did in 2011. I don't know. I was in a groove in those years, even though I didn't have the best apartment living in the Ville Saint Pierre sector. But nevertheless, I came up with some beautiful, beautiful artwork. And uh, here is a uh, 59 uh, Ford Custom that I did. I always like the 59 Fords. I mean, I love the 59 Chevy too, but 59 Ford had a nice mean look to it. And since I always like police cars as well, I also like tornadoes so for many years I had this idea for like I don't know oh my god like 10 years to do a drawing with a tornado so I said to myself why not you know do this drawing that I call unsuspecting trooper who's napping behind the wheel of this Ford there and uh, draw that F3 uh, let's say F3 tornado in the background and that whole f uh, tornado and cloud is all paint by the way to get that effect that I wanted and um you can see there's a lot of detail though in, in all that earth there. Where is it they have their earth that color, Oklahoma? I know they do in New Brunswick. You know, and uh, but again, this is a drawing. There's not too much to it compared to some of the other ones. So, you know, make me an offer and, um, you know, we'll see if I can send it out to you there. But again, just to ship one of these, they're big, eh? So it's going to be 20 bucks in Canada and uh, uh, 25 bucks in the United States to the United States and if by any chance I would sell one of these to Europe I would do it but uh, again the shipping is going to be like twice as much practically all right so look at this yeah you're thinking whoa Elton you actually did something non-transportation that's right I did that's right again 2011 or tw I think it was beginning of 2012 actually I did this one uh, in February and yeah that is uh, one of the most uh, renowned Montreal Canadiens hockey player that was Jean Beliveau and uh, this uh, was a drawing that I thought I had done for uh, there's Gloria well you like that camera it was a good kitty cat with a big tail oh what a meow Anyway, so uh, Jean Beliveau, uh, this was somebody who said to that I knew, uh, but not very well. Uh, anyway, basically the guy, he backed out on the deal. And he's like, draw me Jean Beliveau, blah, blah, blah. And uh, stupid me, I didn't take any down payment from him. Uh, but uh, hey, whatever, here it is. You know, it's, I still have it. And uh, now the guy's dead. So I think it has even a little more value to it. And I had used actually a magazine, a, a Quebec uh, sport magazine from 1960, Quebec Sport. And, uh, oh, by the way, je suis bilingue aussi, hein. Ça veut dire que je voulais euh, intéresser un de mes dessins, un de mes pièces d'or. Je suis franc francophone aussi. Fait me rejoindre au 514-598-1773. On va voir si on peut faire un bon deal. And uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, it's uh, it's again a lot of work in this. And like I forgot to mention, one of the things that's really unique about all my drawings is that, see, unlike paint, markers leave streaks. So a lot of stuff that I have, I had to color like, you know, two or three times to get the look that I wanted. And specifically, the case for almost everything you see here: the background, the shirt, gloves. I think the shirt alone I had to color the blue and the red three times so that it looked as good as it is. Maybe almost the same thing for the background. So, you know, originally I think I wanted like a hundred and a quarter for this. But, uh, you know, hey, I'm not made of steel like I said, you know. I, I figure it should be worth at least a hundred bucks anyway, you know. I don't know, I think sometimes people think a drawing is like worth less than a painting. It's not a painting yet, but a drawing can take a long time to do too, you know. 
Uh, actually, this one I did in 2010. I remember because there was a fire in the apartment building I lived in in Verdun. And I was staying at my mom and my stepfather's place for, I think, two or three weeks. And I did this, yeah, GMC C7000, almost exactly from a photo that I took of it in 2006. And it was just like that, exactly, like it was mint. And I couldn't believe it, it was one of, uh, probably one of the cleanest ones I had ever seen. And, uh, yeah, it belonged to this company called Sauter. Sauter, I don't know, whatever. And uh, the only thing that, that kind of screwed up was right here on the grill here. This bar here should have been a little higher, but whatever. Beautiful old truck with the star wheels and, you know, surely a truck like that. Usually when they, here in North America, if they had uh, twin axles in the back, it means that they were diesel and not, um, not gas motor. This was downtown on St. Catherine Street. Yeah, and again, just lots of little details there. Love details. But, you know, again, this didn't take me as long as the other ones you just saw, like that, that Jean Bellevue or the streetcar. But still a lot of work quite a bit, nevertheless, you know. Two or three coats of color. I almost said paint, but color on the blue there. It's very nice. Very nice. Very uh, much for the truck enthusiast. And I never saw that fucking truck again, by the way. I remember I even went to Laval, which is off-island, far away, and I don't have a car, I'm visually impaired, you know, I went to see if I could sell the damn thing to the company, but I never found the company, I sort of got lost, I don't know. Speaking of beautiful vintage trucks, look at this. Eh, beautiful uh, white Freightliner cab over a truck, and funny enough, this guy just came this morning, really nice guy, came all the way from Bay Como, and he bought some of my uh, old vintage uh, GMC S15, S10 uh, pickup truck ads, and he told me, then he has one of these. I'm like, what? And he also has a conventional version of that, FLC. I'm like, oh my god. Now this one, again, uh, you know, this is the kind of drawing when I had first listed, I wanted like something like 250 for it or whatever. And I mean, there's just so much detail on that. You know. And I had uh, drawn this as if it would have been on uh, that route. Uh, St. Joseph, St. Joseph Street in the Lachine sector of Montreal, the oldest sector in the city. And there's this really, really old uh, CP train overpass here with this kind of fantastic stone and and just fantastic details and a lot of work involved in that too. You know, but I'd like to get 150 for it, frankly. I don't think I would take any less. Uh, maybe a bit less. I don't know. I mean, you know, it depends. Sometimes the sales of things sometimes depends on somebody's mood, depends on the day. Everything is uh, is 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 variable, you know. Hell, even the weather. Like today, look, today is a gorgeous day. I got feel energetic. I feel good, you know. And even though it's freezing cold out there, well, whatever. Oh yeah, this is actually based on a um, a seventy Freightliner. The picture out of one of my best books there is the American uh, Truck Spotter's Guide. So it's based on a seventy factory picture. Well, where are we in all this? Okay, one left. Speaking of old heavy commercial vehicles, and finally we finish with the drawing of a a Ford. I believe it was known as a B800 school bus, and school in French is Ecolier. And uh, I drew this uh, because, well, not only because I love buses and school buses, but uh, this is also uh, a body of a, a Superior. Superior, you know, had different companies who made the the bodies of these buses. This one was Superior. And, uh, well, Superior, sorry, Superior or Carpenter, I think they both made the same looking body. And this one uh, would have been ran by Transco, uh, the company that mostly takes care of the Montreal uh, and surrounding area school bus transportation. And uh, interestingly enough, uh, I remember the first time I ever took the school bus, the only time I ever took a, a school bus to go to school was uh, when I was a kid and, and, and uh, like when I was like five or six or seven or something like that and we were living in Laval there and I even actually I think I even like went online to find Street View back in like 2011 or 2010 to uh, to actually make a replica of the street I lived on with the houses we lived on this I think it was called a semi-detached home you know there's one home there and then on the other with the same building as two houses and you know it's funny having done this I didn't um, in hindsight uh, I didn't realize that uh, 
you know, the, the yellow on these bus, school buses is not exactly yellow. They're more like orange up here versus the States. And one of the things I also I love about these school buses is they had that angled, those angled windows there, you know, unlike the uh, Thomas and um, uh, what was the other one called again, the other make, Wayne. And, um, and it's funny, just to finish, I remember uh, uh, not only taking these this bus, you know, just a brief memory, but I remember my mom, I think she... She gave the bus driver a bottle of wine or something like that once because, I don't know, I think he, like, went out of his way to drop me off closer to the house, like, maybe, like, you know, the door facing my house so that, because I was visually impaired, you know, so. Anyway, uh, so that's it. There you have it. And, um, yeah, there you go. So, uh, if you guys want to interested, in, uh, I can send this stuff, no problem, regular mail. It uh, comes with uh, insurance, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this drawing alone, well, I'll take a hundred bucks for it, you know, and they're, uh, I only actually ever sold, it's funny, in this series of drawings I did between like 2000 and 2011, I think I only ever sold two of these, and uh, one of them uh, I sold a couple of years ago when I was selling on eBay, I sold a couple of years ago to a guy in the States, and it was these pictures of these two heavy trucks. So that's it, guys. So uh, there you go, man. Get in touch with me if you're uh, interested in one of these. And if you're interested in more than one, you uh, you know, cash is no problem, as they say. Well, you want to talk to me, 514-598-1773. And uh, there's, I will not waste your time and just don't waste mine. Thank you very much, and take it easy.